Hey everybody, welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. We now are a four-man squad. We have Edir, Gloom, Aloth, and Doom. I'm pretty excited about this group. And uh, I did pose this as a question on my first episode about uh, taking suggestions for a name and a class and all that that I could potentially incorporate uh, down the road. So uh, stay tuned for that when we feel the need to recruit more. What we're going to do is head out to uh, Ked Nua, the spirit of Kaldara de Baranzi. She's the one in the tree where she kind of explained the, uh, the visions, explained that we've become something known as a Watcher. Um, she also explained that we need to find a man named Merwald. He's a Watcher as well. Perhaps he can tell me more about what's happening. So I'm actually quite intrigued to uh, figure that out. Before we do that though, I do want to show you the uh, biography because it's getting updated like extremely well. I actually really, really love this feature. And uh, what I'm going to do is from time to time just review the last few paragraphs of uh, all the stuff that we've done because I think it's a really great idea and I think that this, if more games did this, I would just be thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. So let's start from, let's read the last three paragraphs here. When you tried to sleep, it was restless, full of encroaching whispers, and you experienced a vivid nightmare. You saw an old dwarf woman hanging from a tree in the center of Gilded Vale. She said a single word, Watcher. You approached the hanged dwarf woman from your dreams and found that through some means you were able to converse with her. You learned that you are a Watcher, perhaps as a result of your brush with death at the ruins, and that this has given you some kind of otherworldly vision, though the dwarf was able to tell you few details. She advised you to speak with an old Watcher named Merwald, who is master of a keep in the in the area and might be able to help. In Gilded Vale, you met Edir, a local farmer and follower of Eothus. His family's faith and his brother's role in the Saints' War had earned him the suspicion of the local authorities, so you decided to make your way out of town together. Very cool. I appreciate that. Um, I think we want to head south. So let's head down here. And if we take a look at our uh, world map, we're going to be heading to uh, Ked Nua. Now, What's interesting is, between these areas, I'm not sure if we have any type of encounters or anything strange happens, or if it's just like, boom, we're there. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, hopefully we can take on anything. I want to be confident, but really it's quite dangerous out here. Fend enough another attack on Lord Redrick's keep. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Okay, this is new. Megrin's Fork, I guess once we explore the different exit points, that's probably what triggers um, new places along the way. Okay, so it'll take us four hours, but that's fine. I'm not actually sure if the travel impacts our fatigue or anything like that. Sharp eyes and keen ears. We've got a wolf here. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, but you never know. Let's go! Let's just have everybody attack. Okay, I like that. We are using the crossbow right now, and uh, I'm not sure how much damage we're doing with it. Let's see. 25 to 34 pierce. And actually, that's pretty good. It's a little bit slow. But, um, the nice thing is, is we can do damage from afar so we can build up our, um, focus. And then that'll let us do, or s use more of our abilities more often. So we've got two people up close and two from afar. I think that's actually a pretty good balance. It's something I may have wanted to do earlier. Steady does it. We'll somewhat stay on the path. <laughs> We'll stay in the grass beside the path. How about that? Let's see. What's really cool is you can actually custom make some uh, formations. I'm thinking now we have these two maybe in the front. And we kind of stay in the back like this. Although that didn't look like it worked very well. Oh, we probably have to select it. That might help. There we go. That's really cool. It's subtle, but I think that's so great. Oh, look at this. We have a spirit. Gleam your reflection warps and twists in the live gleaming Audra. These are some giant sections of Audra here. Oh, hello. 
We've got a fine great sword. It's two-handed. So maybe on some of the um, some of these smaller cities or cities or areas, perhaps it's just kind of a wide open expanse. Um, but I'm thinking it might be worth exploring. Like they don't seem that large where it would be insurmountable of a task to spend some time checking it out. What do we have here? Gold Pack Paladin, Paladin Ludrana. Who are these people? There, that one. Oh, what? No! This is bad. This is really bad. Okay. <laughs> uh, at one point it told us most people are neutral or friendly. Yeah, well, you know. Gold Pack Paladin. Oh, this could be dangerous. Let's go ahead and get in there. And you here. I'm gonna bring Gloom back. Actually, let's bring Gloom out here. And we could bring Aloth over here. Hopefully we can use some of these cross beams. Okay, great. Oh, that's gonna hurt us, isn't it? Okay, this is actually... Oh, look at that damage! That is insane. Okay, let's try to knock these guys down. Aloth, let's use your scorching fire stream here. See what happens. And let's try to focus one of these. We are going to get really damaged up here. I wonder if we'd be able to take her. I don't know. I'm not feeling mega confident with that. That's for sure. He's almost dead. And he's still attacking. Yep. Yeah, wow. Okay. It looks like she might... Oh, he's down. That's why. Okay. Super. So now let's remove the defensive. We need the attacks to come a bit faster. And let's move Aloth just back here temporarily. Try something else. I should try something else. <laughs> Look at that damage. That's insane. That is crazy. Okay, let's come in here. Let's use our fire. Oh, that's gonna hurt too. She must be some type of crazy wizard and I have no idea why she's out here or what she's doing, but it's bad. There we go, let's cast that again. She's not the strongest, thankfully. Whew. Okay. Who are you exactly? Ludrana's Grimoire. What are we gonna do with another Grimoire? Can we use her spells? You found a new Grimoire. Grimoires often contain spells that your wizards may not know. For a small cost, you can learn those spells from the description panel. You may also fill additional Grimoires with different spells. Place them in your wizard's quick slot quick item slots to switch them, but be careful. Switching grimoires will temporarily lock wizards out of spellcasting for several seconds. Yikes. Okay. So, she has... These are Ludrana's grimoire. Look at this. Attacks reflex. I liked... What was that first thing she was doing? I think it was this. Necrotic lance. Which I do believe... Yeah, we read about, but we didn't pick. It's very good. Uh, very damaging. Will cost 200 copper for Aloth to learn Necrotic Lance. I mean, yeah, let's grab it. It's level 2. 
You've learned a new wizard spell. Remember that you must add new wizard spells to a grimoire before they're available. Question I have is, can we add that to our own grimoire? So it's great that we have these to kind of um, learn from if we want to spend money on it. But in our own grimoire, oh, that's awesome. That is actually really cool. Grimoire cooldown active. Okay. So there's that. Keeping quiet. But what else did we pick up? Got a wand. Same thing, really. Padded armor. And Ludrana's orders. It seems I have no choice but to provide you with instruction. Redrick's forces are spread thin and the road through the wilds to the south of Gilded Vale lies unguarded. Given these favorable circumstances, I'm sure that even you can manage to handle a peasant or two. The archers tell me that Kolsk's men made south after their escape. If you should happen to retrieve one of their number, I may be convinced to forgive your previous mistakes. For the last time, you are to keep clear of Defiance Bay. Uh, know that if you cannot be trusted to acquire a useful specimen with even a modicum of discretion, I have no qualms whatsoever about using what materials I have at my disposal instead. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I mean, perhaps in that fight with the, like, the wizard, we should have probably targeted her right away, but I don't know how strong these paladins could be. But whoa, do they ever have a lot of weaponry. Okay, let's go ahead and store this. We've got a mace, it's one-handed, 13 to 19 crush. Um, it's not bad. Let's give that to him. Got a large shield. Oh, that might be good for him. 16 deflection. Some medium armor. We could definitely use this for Aloth. Recovery speed is a bit lower, but shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and equip this armor. And what about for Doom? What has she got? Seven. So yeah, let's switch this as well. And pretty much everyone's going to be in chainmail sooner or later. Uh, and if we take a look, this mace... 1421... Yeah, I guess we'll just stick with the saber, hey? But the shield... Shield is certainly better. Minus 8 to accuracy. Using a warrior needs the best protection possible, even if that means sacrificing some accuracy in exchange. Yeah, it's kind of tough. Um, let's let's see what kind of impact it has on us, and we'll go from there. So yes, uh, does it pay off to explore in these areas? I would absolutely say so. Let's just scout the other. Oh, hello, will o wisps. All right, go ahead. We'll attack from back here. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and go for the knockdown right off the bat. Just start attacking, and... There we go. If it's on its own... That's not bad. Whoa, where are you going? Gloom. What is this? Confu yeah, I'd say so. Confused. You can't do anything with them while they're confused. There we go. She's actually capable of dishing it out. This is really good. Silence surrounds me. Oh, look at that. Okay, we've got another scepter. Let's see. 10 to 15, 10 to 15, crush and slash. Got some lockpicks we'll just combine up here. Actually, we have quite a few lockpicks. We may as well give them to us. Looks like we can only stack in fives. And whose house could this be? Don't 
mind if I do? I don't think anybody's actively living here. Got some cold raw chew and some lock picks. So we'll continue to grab those, but we'll put that into our community chest. Nice! Campfire supplies, that's awesome. And what did I see there? Hold on. It looked like... It went into here, didn't it? Looked like a grappling hook, which makes me think... Yep, rope and grappling hook, that is awesome. So, had we had that... Uh, where we tried to climb that rock and we ended up losing a bunch of fatigue. That would be amazing. We could have waited till now, I guess, and then gone back to do that, but uh, we didn't. <laughs> and that's okay. How would we know? Yeah, so I mean, you could run right through here, sure, but um, I think you'd be missing out big time. Let's see where this would lead. All right, just back to the veil. I don't know where we went here. Oh, damn it. <laughs> we got in trouble for doing that for sure. Uh, these things aren't too terrible. We can try and just take them down quickly. The tough thing is casting this is you're not sure where they're going to meet all the time. So I'm just going to go for a regular attack first. Once they get into position, then... We'll go from there. Oh, wow, that is a lot. Okay. Let's cast that on them again. This one's pretty low. Yes. Man, she gets hit pretty I, hard. Yes. Let's go ahead and try this necrotic lance. Let's go on this one. You know, I don't want to use the same the mind blast all the time, but Love. Yeah, she's down. That's yeah. bad. This is my fault because we totally just walked into this while I was looking at the other area. Actually, you know what? We might be able to just blast these guys. Huh. Okay, well, I guess maybe that did hit us. That wasn't intentional. And I probably should have charmed one is what I should have did. Like, this thing is so strong. Way too strong. There we go. Actually, you know what? Just attack from there. I'll come over to this side. For a large group of them, that's not terrible, but uh, certainly I do need to work on Steady my micromanagement it. a little bit. Because I think we can we can handle these uh, these attacks that happen, but you really got to be on the ball, and we're only on normal, <laughs> which is scary. Oh come on, you're one guy. You're not going to attack all of us, are you? 
Ah, oh, hello there, begging your pardon, but you have gave me a good fright. I thought I heard something rustling, rustling through the brush. Suppose that was just you. Silly of me. Don't suppose you happen to need some supplies. I thought I'd make my way to Madham or Bridge, but I'm starting to think I'd better be better off heading back to town and getting a few more folks together. Better safe than sorry, right? Say, did you hear something? What? Uh... Combat start, Edir? Oh, another wolf. Didn't even see it. Okay. Hopefully it's just one. Okay, maybe this thing is stronger. He's got its defenses at the top there, and uh, those are the four d types of defenses. So, the weakest one is like the mind, it looks like. I can't remember exactly, maybe we could check our defenses. Here we go. Uh, will. So with this, the will defense opposes attacks that are mentally based, a spell that mentally paralyzes a target. It's defined by a character's class, level, intellect, resolve, but may also be influenced by other things. So uh, that means like to mind control one of these wolves, probably pretty easy to do. But let's just go ahead and continue to knock these down. There we go. Lay in low. Be every star in the sky. Thank you. I've never seen those beasts so bold before. Strange times we're in. Here, take these. I'm headed back to Gilded Vale for certain. You can make better use. We were probably supposed to run into him first and then have all those wolves attack, but, uh, oh well. What did he give us exactly? Um... I don't know what he gave us. Here, take these. I'm headed back to Gilded Vale. But what did he give us? So we're pretty much good everywhere except for the path. One thing I would like to check as well is if we can actually scroll a little bit faster. Scroll speed. Here we go. Let's try that. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, look at this. West to the Guild of Vale, south to Anslog's Compass. Oh, okay, so south from here. Okay, so if the Gilded Vale is that way west, then Anslog's Compass is probably out this way. Saw you in the fleet. Squatting at the base of the statue is an incredibly ugly man, with bulging red cheeks raked by pox scars and a scraggly beard. He's sweating as if he has a fever, but his breathing is measured and steady, like a slow push of a blacksmith bellows, but that comparison feels strange and unwelcome. The next comparison possibly sparked by his grin is that of a bear trap. And then out of nowhere, there's a hint of alchemical fire that fades almost as soon as you identify Come the smell. To pray at the statue. Whoa. The question mark is barely there, as the man ta makes the statement the statue takes on a reddish cast as if one is holding a torch to it, then slowly blossoms into waving flames. The man doesn't turn as the statue blossoms into fire. The others are welcome, but it's best if just you and I trade words, and your shadows stay quiet. Hands off their weapons, both arcane and steel. It's only you I want to trade words with anyway. Okay. I swear before the whore that is Margaret, no harm will come to you in her shadow. If that's enough of a promise for you. The whore if that is Margaret. The staff rests easily in his hand. It wasn't there a moment ago. Huh. What's going on with the statue? 
The weaving firelight from the statue gives us no heat, so much so if you wonder if it's some trick of the mind. The ugly man before you doesn't seem to notice it or feel it, although the sheen on his brow is still present. What about him? The man weaving flames from the statue of Megrin casts more light on the features. The man's robes are dirty, stained with grease and other marks of the road. The hems of his robes, including the sleeves, are burned at the edges, as if he walked a great distance across a fire, then reached into the flames with his hands to pull something out. And his staff? The sudden weaving flames of the statue of Megrin cast more light on the features. Oh, we just. Oh, here. The staff looks thick, stout of blackened ash, once burned by a terrible fire. Beneath the ash, the lines of the wood bear shapes and patterns, but there is a certainty that staff was something far more dangerous, but not now. Okay, well, that's good. Um. Look, I didn't catch your name or why you want to speak with me specifically. I didn't give it. You probably find names as useless as I do. The names that litter this world like debris are hard enough to wrap around the tongue. And what do they matter? Well, I mean, what do I call you? It's what's beneath the skin and the letters I care about. What burns within. It's more important to me you're a watcher than whatever oh. culture or accent decorates your letters like awkward crowns. Take pride in your actions, not where you hail from. Or how your name rolls off whatever liar's tongue coats it now. So he knows what we are. If you need a title to hang on me to match your own watcher, then call me Durance. And as you observe souls, I test them. What? How'd you know I was a watcher? Shakes his head and his hand curls tightly on his staff. I can see that question bubbling up. Let's burn them away one by one. I am a missionary. I walk this diseased nation with its heathen. It's people so careless with the spirits of others and their own. Watchers among them. Yes, I know you for what you are, and your name doesn't interest me. Names are for honest folk, and you are a crack that shines light from another place. That's interesting, so he can kind of interpret that. Hmm. That's really interesting. We're meant to travel together, you and I. Saw you in the flames. Not your face, but that soul of yours. All tightened up, like a huntsman's knot. You saw my soul in the flames? There's things we can teach each other. If you're in need of answers to your mantle of questions. I don't force my words on anyone other than you. I don't care who walks with you or what their mewling problems and politics are. There's enough howling in the world without me stoking that fire. I won't take from your provisions. Don't need much on the road. I can carry my weight, which is considerable. <laughs> Durance, I like you. Yeah, you're straight up. Okay. Many will stand against you. They probably already have, from what I can see. Left their marks, it seems. Like a trail, worming its way behind you. What kind of marks, exactly? Disease? Spirit wind? Both could have touched you, yet here you stand. As for disease, not all of us were close to water when the pox hit. But it's no longer a passenger in my flesh. It left its marks as well. But like flames... The pox doesn't strike twice, nor is it <laughs> catching. Well, I'll tell you what, if your stone mistress there allows it, then uh, you can come with us. Her? Don't fear her jealousy. Let us see what the road holds, Watcher. That's awesome. Oh, I'm super stoked. So we got this crazy wizard guy. What? What is he? Oh, oh, he's a priest. That is what we need. Tell me there's some heals in these bad boys. Blessing, uh, increases accuracy and damage. Tangible shield of faith, increasing damage reduction of allies in the area. Uh, divine terror attacks will, strikes fear, inflicting penalty accuracy. Causing them to temporarily cease all movement. Holy meditation combat only, thereby increasing their concentration and will bonus. Prayer against fear steals the mind of allies in the area of effect against all external fears, granting bonus resistance against attacks with frightened or terrified afflictions. 
Reducing the duration of any such afflictions currently on the target. Restore minor endurance. Oh god, yes. Significant amount of endurance to all allies in the area of effect. Oh, okay, so we group up our guys and blammo. That's cool. And withdrawal. I slice a single target within a protective sphere, uh, sphere, shielding them from harm while their endurance regenerates. Nice. Look at that. Invisible, this giant stasis shield, so like nothing can get past it. And... The thing is though, are they... they can't do anything while this happens. So, for over 20 seconds. Interesting. Then his second level spells. Long-lasting circle of healing, regenerating ally endurance. Oh, this is great. Marks a target for retribution, inflicting burn damage and lowering deflection. Zone of Divine Favor, increasing the Might and Resolve. Endurance to allies and inflicting freeze damage to, en uh, to enemies. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this range. So, just throw everybody in this path. Like, that's massive. Turning endurance to allies and inflicting freeze damage. That's huge. Okay. Instill doubt. Taps into subconscious uncertainties. Reducing the speed of all enemies in the area. Fortifies the health of allies in the area of effect. Granting us bonus against attacks with sickened or weakened afflictions. And reducing the duration of any such afflictions currently on the target. Places a magic seal on the floor that sends enemies sprawling on contact. Causing them to become prone. Yes, that's huge. 11 seconds. Restore Light Endurance. Shares a portion of the caster's divine strength, restoring some endurance to all allies. Um... Does this reduce his, though? I hope not. And Suppress Affliction. Stifles detrimental conditions through sheer force of will, temporarily suspending hostile status effects. And he also has this, Holy Radiance, once per encounter. Creates a field of holy energy around the priest, burning any vessels in the vicinity and regenerating a modest amount of endurance for allies. The power of a priest's Holy Radiance is modified by how well his or her reputations align with the preferred behaviors of his or her faith. That's amazing. He's also got uh, a Durant Staff, okay. 16 to 20 Crush. And a Rod, two-handed. 12 to 18 um, pierce or slash. So that's really cool. I'm actually really- he is- uh, he is ugly though. He is- he is very ugly. <laughs> but what did it say? It said, um... Trials of Durant. We have something to gain from questioning one another. Durant said he and I are meant to travel together and that we can teach one another. He is a man of many words who seem to raise more questions than answers, but if I travel the road long enough with him, perhaps I may discover something worth learning. All right, cool. Good. So let's see how he fits into our uh, current formation. Yep, he's in the back, which is exactly what we want. Let's just spread these guys out a bit. We could actually have them spread even wider than that. Now what I want to check is if this will give us no, it doesn't list anything over here. So we must have to unlock that at some point. I guess all that's left is to head down through this rocky area. Oh, Jesus. I gotta stop doing that, because I just assume we're not gonna run into anything, and that's clearly a bad assumption. Alright, well, get in there, attack that boar. You can do the same. We will just attack from back here for now. Actually, I'll go ahead and uh, try to grab the young one. And then for you... I don't really want to waste your abilities if we don't have to. Oh my god. Okay. Hello. We could try Holy Radiance. But our... The thing is, our endurance isn't that low right now, so let's... Just... Hey, we took that one, so that's... That's good.
Now, I think we may want to try and bring these guys over here somehow. We can't, really. Let's just have them all attack. Alright, that wasn't ideal, but... We can't run through the trees, apparently. Alright, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> no more blind running. I imagine this place will probably have an inn, but... I mean, I could be wrong. Are we safe here? Looks that way. Okay. So from here, uh, we can head directly to... Oh, Anzlog's Compass! Okay, so we could do that. Or... What if we head up here? And we'd have to go through Black Meadow. Okay, so maybe instead of going right to Kednua, we go down here to Anzlog's Compass and take care of that because we do have to go there for this here. By order of the Lord of Vild uh, Gilded Vale, all mothers who give birth to hollowborn children will be exiled. Offer where she may find herself among their number. Uh, but Mother Ranga is said to be able to help. Um, She's a midwife who is said to know a way to ensure the office child retains its soul. So perhaps we do that instead. I think that's actually a pretty good idea. So let's head down here. We'll do Anzlog's, or yeah, Anzlog's compass, then make our way back through to Kednua. So this is really interesting because I wanted to go on that direct path and then now we found all this cool stuff and yeah, this is great. I don't know what Aloth is doing. It's hanging out in the trees. Okay, you guys, we'll see you soon. Uh, thank you very much for the support, and uh, we'll see you next time. Okay, bye.